Crestview Knights playing for the school's third state title. Top of the first, Knights with a runner on second, two away. Brady Guest swats it into left field. Carol Millay will score from second, one nothing. Crestview in front. Bottom of the second, Tigers with runners on second and third, one away. Hannah Keffer pops it up. Millay makes the catch. The pinch runner on second, Cheyenne Gardner, lost track of the outs. She gets doubled up, an unorthodox double play. Gets the Knights out of a potential jam. Top of the third now, runner on second. Rager, the bunt, hustles. She is safe. Crestview with runners on first and third and no outs. After a stolen base and a strikeout, Guest delivers once again. Base hit up the middle. Malay and Rager both score. 3-0, Knights in front. Bottom of the third, Strasburg. Franklin gets on the board, threatening two in scoring position. But Jada Preston limits the damage. Grounder to third. Guest to Kristen Etzler. 3-1, Crestview in front. Bottom of the sixth now, still a 3-1 lead. Tigers with a runner on. But Preston comes up with a big strikeout to end the threat. We'll go to the seventh now. Two on, one away for the leadoff hitter for Strasburg. Franklin, Emily Riger, base hit into right field. Ava Ray will score. It's 3-2, still one out and two runners in scoring position. But Preston bears down, strikes out Morgan Kreitz, two away. Next batter, the number three hitter, Tashana Alshouse, fly ball to center field. Sydney Bowen squeezes it. Crestview Knights, 3-2, your state champions, the third title for the Knights, an emotional victory for Crestview. Brady Guest, three for four, drove in all three runs. It means a lot because like we've grown up, everyone's grown up seeing, you know, the teams go to state. You're like, I want to do that one day. And you never, honestly, <laughs> this morning, T, Kennedy and I were in our room and we're like, I don't feel like we're playing in a state championship because it was just so unreal. But it means a lot, our whole team. It took us all today. It really did, and I'm proud of every one of them. Thursday, a little bit different type of game. Today, obviously, much closer. How important was it to get that first inning run and, and tack on a little bit? It was so good. We were talking the Thursday that we need to get a run that first inning, and we didn't, but, you know, we got some that third inning, and today I knew that it wasn't going to be a, we get six or seven runs in an inning. We were going to get, you know, one, two. Like, I didn't even think we would get three, honestly, but... It was real important, got our momentum going, kind of shut them, got the pitcher down, like, you know, not like as confident and really helped us, I thought. Bottom of the seventh, winning run is on second base, deep drive to center. What's going through your mind? Honestly, <laughs> I was like, it's over. I was going back and forth. It's over, it's in her glove, it's over, it's in her glove. But as soon as I saw her calling it, I'm like, she has it. Sydney's done awesome in center. She's Last year she went from infield and now she's outfield and she's done great for us this year. I'm so proud of her and so happy she caught that ball. It's absolutely amazing. Like I've never felt this great about a softball game in my life and all they were the best team that we have played all season. That was the closest game we've been in all season. They were a, they're a tremendous ball club. They've always been. My sister played them and 11 and I just wanted to come get them for her and for the rest of my teammates and for my community. What was that seventh inning like for you in the circle? Oh man, there was a lot of prayer going on out there. Um, they had me rattled up a little bit, but I just had to maintain my composure and I just had to do what I'm supposed to do and just hit my spots where Bob's telling me to and just trust my defense behind me. You've been here quite a few times. You've had some very good teams come through Crestview. They haven't always won this last game. Yeah. What is it about this group of girls, what is it about this team that makes this year different? Well, you know, I think it started back really um, when uh, when we lost the regional semifinal last year and that punch in the gut feeling that the girls had and, and we had some strong senior leadership this year and they just said, you know, we, we don't want to feel that again. We don't want, you know, we, we don't want to be denied and uh, you know we got a, a super blend of seniors and, and three juniors, uh, a couple sophomores, some freshmen in that lineup, and they have just really rallied with each other. And I think, like uh, Tim said, you know we took a weekend, we went down to Columbus and, and did some things down there, uh, hopefully for some people that needed it, and we really needed it to come together as a as a tight knit group. And when we came home, you could just see the difference. Everybody was connecting and. And, uh, you know, we, we battled the weather this year and, and uh, battled a lot of things, some injuries, but we're just very, very blessed and fortunate to get to play and 
take it home today. Speaking of battling, Jada battled in the circle, in the circle for you. Oh, you know, <laughs> the thing with Jada is she gets herself so ramped up that most kids you got to try to you want to try to motivate and get them fired up. Jada, you got to almost try to take a little wind out of the balloon there because she gets gone so uh, so strong and heavy. But again, yeah, she's a battler and, and she wants everything on her back and she wants to take us where we need to go. And she found that place today. You know, Brady had a great uh, semifinal game. Uh, you know, there had been a lot of people in that situation. I think maybe in the fifth inning. She came up and it's like, okay, you know, normal, normally you would traditionally try to bunt the runner over and I'm like, I can't take the bat out of, I can't take the bat out of Brady's hands. And, uh, but yeah, she just played solid offensively for us. And, and I guess nine hits, we got out hit 10 to nine, but I guess we had the most on the scoreboard and that's what counts. But again, top to bottom of our lineup the last few games, last few weeks has just, everybody has just pitched in. And, and today defensively, those that maybe wasn't hitting, uh, got the job done defensively. We made the plays when we had to make them. Well, uh, not to hit the first batter, you know, and, and that was an 0-2 count, and we went inside and we clipped her a little bit. Uh, but again, that's, you know, it was a tough situation. Jay to battle through it. Uh, we just went out after we, got a big strikeout for the second out of the inning. That was humongous. And then uh, we had to go out and just settle everybody down and say, you got to make one more out. And, you know, what's ironic is Sid Bowen make, uh, gets the assist in the last out. She was our second baseman last year. She had to go to the outfield to allow Cora to come in and catch and for Sid to put that ball away. I mean, she's just been, you know, dramatic out in the outfield. And, and uh, we knew when the ball was hit, we were going to win it because Sid was going to make sure she caught it. It was very nerve-wracking, and um, I just had to trust my defense behind me, and I just had to hit my spots where Bob was telling me to hit them, and I just had to do what I had to do to get it done. That was the most fun I've ever in the game. Yep, there was a few times where I had to squat down, pray a little bit, <laughs> look up, pray a little bit. Yeah, they had, they were... They're hitting the ball and they're hitting it hard. Morgan here. Brady, three RBIs today. You played well Thursday. You really left your mark on uh, your press your softball here at the state tournament. Yeah, it felt good, but uh, like I said Thursday, if it wasn't for the girls getting on, my hit would have me meant nothing. So it's kudos to them and kudos for Jada to not let them on in defense. And now, the coach see these girls come together and pull this together throughout the season. Talk about what, how, how this ending kind of just encapsulates everything that got on this spring. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say because these kids, young ladies, I keep calling kids, you know, we said that, you know, why not us? And why, why you know, it's our time. And uh, we've, we've talked in the last probably two weeks as we head into the tournament that we've got to work as hard as we can. And when we're done working hard, we got to work even harder than that. And everyone did. And our lineup in the last few ball games from top to bottom as far as offensively, the, everybody's come through. And I don't care whether it was a line drive double down the left field line or a bunt to move a run or a sacrifice fly to score a run. They're all doing what they're, they're doing their jobs. And then defensively, you know, they made the plays. We made a couple great plays in the semifinals. We, we made some nice plays today. I mean, I, I, I even thought Kristen was going to get tackled. Was only, I think it was a first and ten, and she took a hit hard. And, and uh, we still hung on. And, and uh, so we just have really come together very nicely. Cora led the game off the walk, got on base. Three for four. You know, great table sitter there in the top lineup. Thank you. Uh, it, it seriously is just a team effort, though. Like, if you have one player that has a great game, and nobody else does, <laughs> you're in trouble. So it's totally the whole team. It's been awesome to get to play with these girls. You guys had a close call early in the tournament. Did that do anything for you? Oh, show me. No, uh, Hicksville, It was probably Hicksville. when our freshman, uh, Avery, hit the home run against yeah. Yeah. Hicksville to win the game 6-5 to five for us. I mean, we were three outs away from not having this be a reality. And, and again, it just exemplifies whether it's a senior, whether it's a freshman, we had to have that base hit. We came through with the base hit, and 
and give us a chance to play the next one. And I think after that, we kind of caught fire, and, and uh, you know, here we are today. So yeah, we had a very close call. And so I'd say it made us even more hung like hungry for it, because we're like it could be done that quick, and we're all like none of us obviously wanted it to be done. So I think it made us all work and play just that much harder. Coach, talk about playing with that lead. You know, you put up two runs early, and then from there, it just seemed like you were in control again. Talk about setting that tone early on and what that meant throughout the rest of the game. Well, you know, it was huge because that's what we say, you know, let's get Cora on, get her over, and get her in. And to, uh, you know, play in the state championship game and come out and get the lead, hopefully it settled our nerves a little bit. You know, I was expecting a seven-run eruption in one of those innings, and they didn't do it today. I mean, I've just been used to it. But So our big inning, I guess, was two runs, and we were very thankful to get them. And, but to get out early... Um, that's huge, and, and I think Jada has always said, you know, if you get the, get us the lead, you know, she'll she'll take over from there. So, hopefully, Jada, we got you big enough on happy with what happened today. Maybe. One lead. <laughs> <laughs> See them hold on to that. I mean, you know, you led by two most at most today. I mean, to see them hold on to that lead for the rest of the game. That's got to be impressive for you, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I got to be honest. You know, as a coach and probably as players, you're counting the outs that you got to get, and you get down to six outs, and you're thinking, okay, you know, if we continue to play the way we are, we'll be all right. But we wanted to add. You know, we tried to add on there in the seventh inning, and we got some. You know, we got some runners on. So I felt. I felt that. We, we put pressure on them the whole time. I mean, yeah, it seems like uh, end of the game, there's a lot of pressure on us to, to keep from losing the game. But but our, I thought our kids put a lot of pressure on them. Um, they're, they're, they're an outstanding team. I mean, yeah, they've been down here forever. And uh, so, uh, you know, a little bit of a rivalry against Strasburg. I think it's like three and three now overall. And, and so to be able to come down here and, and beat a program that I have a lot of respect for. Uh, it's just, it's awesome. What's it like to share with your daughter, obviously, you know, with her being on the roster the second time in you know, the last few years? You had a daughter on the roster, and obviously it's Kristen's turn, and, you know, you guys got it done together. Yeah, I mean, it, that's a blessing. I mean, that's just simply a, tre a dream come true. I mean, it's a dream come true to coach down here at the state level. And I said that when we won at No. 05 and to grab Lish and, and hug her coming off the field was the best feeling in the world. It just got matched. It got matched today to, to be able to do that with Kristen. It, it, sometimes it's tough to be a coach because you want to be a dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I guess I am a dad at home because I bark at her all the time. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's special. And it's just thank you for acknowledging that. I appreciate that. Are you seniors? You're going out on top, literally. So, you know, how, how does it feel to be state champions your senior year? Um, it's amazing, and honestly, I can't thank Sydney enough. <laughs> <laughs> she made my heart beat again. <laughs> when that ball went up, I thought it was over the fence, and when it hit her glove, I was in complete shock. I just kind of ran to someone <laughs> and then found Sid Bow and. <laughs> Thank you, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> um, being in outfield, it's kind of rough towards the beginning. I mean, they're cranking them out over my head left field. And that final play, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, back, back, send me back. And then it was right to her. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. And then instantly just start, had a huge smile on my face. It's incredible to end the season in the sport I love this way. Sydney, <laughs> I mean, I felt like it was kind of slow motion coming to me, and I was like, yeah, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that routine catch that I've been taught, like the whole season to catch, and it just happened at the right time. When Bath won a couple of years ago, I asked Julia Miller what was the first thing that came to her mind, and she said, I'm tackling Kimmy. And <laughs> what was the first thing that came to any of your eyes? Um, first, my first reaction was I just looked at Brady and I kind of ran at her, and then I was like, wait, Sydney got me. <laughs> so it kind of hit me, I just took off for her, and my thought was to lay her out. <laughs> she kind of laid me out. So. You non-seniors, you know, what are you looking forward towards next year? You know, you're saying you just won, but, you know, it's tough to match this. I'm just happy to say I have the experience, you know, even if we don't make it as far next year, like, yeah, I care, but like, this was what I've wanted forever, so I'm just grateful for it. 
you know, Kristen, your sister has a state championship too. And, you know, Coach and I talked, it's kind of like a family affair. You know, how do you feel, you know, right now? We heard your dad's take, but what about you? Well, my sister's probably my biggest fan. So, like, knowing that we get to share that together is, like, the coolest thing ever. And she's been down there three times, and she only won once. And I can say I went down there once, and I just did it then. <laughs> can, I, can I make one other comment? <clears throat> you know, I just want to I want to thank Coach Hicks and, and Coach Perkins. Uh, you know, Bob is not only a coach, as a colleague, but he's a special friend to me. And, uh, you know, making the decision to ask Mr. Bowen and Mr. Bowen allowing me to bring Bob back into this program to work with our pitchers and work with Jaden and, and work with Cora is the reason we're down here. And uh, he, need, he needs to get a lot of credit because he deserves it. And, and Coach Hicks, this is her first time kind of on the varsity stage. But she did a nice job being, I think, a mother to all these girls and doing all those things. They, they could go to her for the things that they probably don't come to me and Bob for. <laughs> we wouldn't know what they were at, wanting anyway. So, so just to, to my coaching staff, to Mr. Bowen, uh, I just, you know, just so grateful for them and the opportunity. I just wanted to say that.